Hi, this is Alice and Greg is behind the camera today. I am waiting for my car. I'm heading to the airport. I've got something different planned for this week. I have been invited to go out and film a TV show along with my friend Kid Congo. We were asked to write a song and perform it on TV and we're both very excited. Neither of us are actors, so it's a new experience for us. I hope you'll come along with us and see what Puerto Rico is like. We've never been there either, so new adventures, come along. To my surprise, there were no direct flights from CDMX to Puerto Rico. Instead, I had to fly to Atlanta to catch a flight to San Juan. I spent a full day traveling, but the first class seats made it all very easy to bear. I felt spoiled and pampered. I found a nice gift basket in my room filled with appetizing snacks and an even more alluring bed. Since it was late, I decided to get some sleep and start fresh tomorrow. Our morning began with PCR as well as antigen tests. Each of us got two tests and were told we could not report to work until the results were in. So we went out exploring. So I'm here with Kid Congo in Puerto Rico. Yes, we are on a secret mission. Doing unmentionable things. Yes, finding all the thrift stores. Yes. yes. Here, look at this. Yes. Check out this pineapple. Yeah, look at the pineapple. <laughs> yeah, we're on uh, world famous Loisa Street, or at least famous to the people who told us to come here. And we are looking for uh, secondhand shops like thrift stores. And uh, we're, go we're going to uh, hopefully find. Uh, Cafe Tostado, and uh, we are going now where to Visa Versa. Yes. yes, and I've got my new Kid Congo sunglasses oh, on. Oh, yes, very Modeling nice them. gift, yes. <laughs> and it's hot and humid, you can tell by the shine yes. on my body. <laughs> <laughs> we found a couple of thrift stores on Louisa Street. First, Electroshock, a cute old-fashioned thrift shop, lots of variety and low prices. We also found Vice Versa, this is more of a vintage store, more curated, but a little bit higher prices. All that shopping made us hungry, so we walked a few blocks to La Casita Blanca restaurant. I did not put the bag on the calf's head, honest. Kid, tell us what you're eating. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm having this uh, soup de platanos, and I want to taste it right now. Plantain soup, what do you uh, think? It's Fantastic. Yeah. Wow, good. tasty, really tasty. And then we have these plantain fritters here. Which, uh, Try one of those. Let's see what you think of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also very nice. It actually tastes like the soup. <laughs> <laughs> and a taste of the meaty. Oh. So I don't know what it's made with. Uh, very, very nice. Very fried. Yay! <laughs> okay, so this is the chicken fricassee with rice. And we ordered a side of avocado and there's a bowl of beans to share. Kid, do you want to do the tasting again? I will do the tasting. Right. You don't have to ask me twice. I'm going to give you a nice steak knife. It's on the bone. Oh, it looks like it's very tender. Oh, that face tells me everything. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Oh, good. Okay, oh, my super turn. Tasty. <laughs> That evening, we took a walk through Old San Juan, which transported me to every pirate book I've ever read, but also to one of my favorite rides at Disneyland, Pirates of the Caribbean. Viejo San Juan has a vibe that feels a little like the French Quarter in New Orleans. We ended up at the fortress of San Felipe del Moro, built by the Spanish who colonized Puerto Rico and effectively put the Tainos out of business. The fort was used by the Spanish for over 300 years. Later, in 1898, the U.S. Navy bombed the Spanish fortress, and after the Spanish-American War, Puerto Rico became a U.S. territory. It 
It was a beautiful, warm, windy night, and the fort was very impressive. <laughs> and here's the dungeon. Uh. Our COVID tests were negative, so we were good to start work. That morning, we had an appointment with the wardrobe department. I had been texting with them about my inspiration for my character. I used the legendary Puerto Rican astrologer, Walter Mercado, and when I saw what was on the racks, I knew we were on the same page. Kid and I left the wardrobe department and continued our sightseeing. From Columbus Square, we could see Castillo San Cristobal, another impressive fortress built under Spanish rule. Here's the view. This is our office for the day. So Kid and I are here in Puerto Rico working on a top secret mission. Yes. <laughs> which cannot be revealed. That people may never know. <laughs> <laughs> we may end up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> yes. Hint. <laughs> hint, hint. Uh, so we're here at the Castillo San Cristobal in Puerto Rico and we want you to have a look around. Yes. Kid, do you have anything look. you want to tell them? Well, it's, we are in actually old San Juan, Viejo San Juan, and we are uh, we had we had a look around last night and but it was all dark so we couldn't take pictures <laughs> so but today we're gonna make up for it exactly so okay. we're gonna give them a look all right let's go Castillo San Cristobal was completed in 1783 there is a tour available but since we didn't have a lot of time and we were hungry we decided to skip it thinking we'd come back another time A friend recommended a restaurant in Old San Juan called Spiga, where they have fresh bread and homemade pasta. It did not disappoint. The day of the shoot finally arrived. A cast notice was sent out. No photos on the set and no social media posts about the show were allowed. But we did manage these two selfies inside our trailer. The shoot itself was really fun. I regretted choosing glamour heels instead of the comfy platform option, but work can be tough and up until then it had been all play. We had another free day, but I wasn't feeling too good. The COVID team came by and administered another test. Kit and I walked to the beach and had a low-key day. We focused on packing to go back home. That evening, Kit called to ask if I wanted to go to dinner. But by then, I had fever and chills. The next morning, my test came back. This time, it was positive. A contact trace was immediately initiated and people I'd been around for more than 15 minutes at a time were tested. Luckily, Kid was in the clear. I was told I had to quarantine for 10 days, alone in a hotel room in Puerto Rico. It was a beautiful hotel room with a lovely view of the ocean but I felt imprisoned and alone nonetheless. The first two days were bad for me, both physically and emotionally, but after that I began to feel like I was getting better. I also figured out how to get food and medicine delivered without having to rely on room service. Thank you, DoorDash. I'm back home now, I'm no longer contagious, but the lingering cough, general fatigue, and brain fog keep me from getting back to my normal routine. I hope to be back out making videos with Greg and sharing them with all of you very soon. If you're a Kit Congo fan, he'll have a new book coming out this fall. It's called Some New Kind of Kick on Hatchet Books. Be sure to pre-order. If you found anything useful in this video, please give us a thumbs up, Subscribe and we'll see you again next Thursday.